I've literally just cop copied out question three. So I've given you the first matrix. I've given you the ones with departments and the days, okay? And I've written it down here. I've written it down here. Then I've written out my second matrix, which is the cost per person in the departments, and I've written it up here. Do you see how I've written that? Okay, so I'm taking the first matrix, the one on the left, and I put it along here. I take my second matrix, which is um, the one on the right, and I put it up here. To find the resulting matrix, so you notice I've stripped away all the context, and I've just simply written the matrices out, okay? To make sure I, to find the resulting matrix, I first need to make sure that I can do this. What are the dimensions of the first matrix? Five by three. Five by three. What are the dimensions of this matrix? Three by two, two, two columns, right? So can I do can I do this matrix multiplication? Yes. yes, because the columns of the first matrix matches with the rows of the second matrix. It's going to be five by two. Exactly, five by two. And because I've written it like this, you can see that. Can you see that the resulting matrix should go here? There should be one, two, three, four, five rows, and there should be one, two columns. Yeah, can you see that? So to find the element that goes here, find the element that goes here, I just simply look at this row and this column and I multiply the corresponding elements together. So have a look, two by 10 plus 10 by 15 plus four by 20. 20, 150, 170, uh, four, four times 20, so 80, 170 times eight, uh, plus 80, so it's 100 and, uh, 200 and, uh, 250. 250, absolutely right, 250. Does that make sense how I found the element? Okay. To find this element here, I would be looking still at this row, but this time at this column here. Yeah? And multiply the corresponding elements together. So yeah, 2 times 20 plus 10 times 30 plus 4 times 10, which is? 120. 380. 2 times 20 is 40. 10 times 30 is 300. It's already too big. And then 4 times 10. So it should be 380, right? Yeah, so just be careful of that. Yeah, just be careful. Okay, this element here, would you be happy, would you be happy, would be, let me just rub this off. Okay, this element here would be this row and this column and multiply the corresponding elements together. Okay, so 5 times 10 plus 12 times 15 plus 6 times 20, what goes there, somebody? 350. 350, okay. Just check. This element here, would be still this row, but now this column. So five times 20 plus 12 times 30 plus six times 10, what do we get? 520, cool. Are you happy what element's gonna go here? So what element is gonna go there? What do we get? So it'd be two times 10 plus nine times 15 plus three times 20, which 215. What element goes here? So 2 times 20 plus 9 times 30 plus 3 times 10, which is? 340. The element that goes here will be 3 times 10, 13 times 15, 5 times 20, which is? 325. And then the element goes here, 3 times 20, 13 times 30, 5 times 10. 500. 500. I'm just taking your word for this. This one here, 1 times 10, 0 times 15, 4 times 20 is going to be 90. 90 yeah. And this element here will be 1 times 20, 0 times 30, 4 times 10, is that 60? Yes. Yeah, cool. There you go. That's the resulting matrix. So if you like, I could write this out again. So the resulting matrix would be 250, 380, 350, 520, 215, 340. 325, 590, and 60. And as predicted, the resulting matrix should be a 5 by 2. 5 by 2. Is that okay? So when you do your matrix multiplication, write it out like this. I only came across this technique a few, well, actually a few months ago, okay? And I really like it. I really like it. So before, I literally had to work with this and think about it like in a weird way. If you write them out like this, it's really easy to see what's happening, okay? So, so hopefully you've got a bit more intuitiveness about what's happening with matrices. By the way, a bit of terminology, okay? 
So a matrix would be the table of numbers. Each number inside the matrix we call an element. Okay? So we call this would be an element, this would be an element, this would be an element. Okay? And the way which we define an element, so if you want to find the position of the element, is the row number and then the column number. So this would be element 3, 2, because it's the third row and the second column. Okay? This would be element 5, 1, because it's in the fifth row and the first column. Is that okay? Yeah, so the elements are the numbers inside the matrix. You notice that each element we separate with a nice space. Uh, and again, every time we start a new row, uh, we separate that with a space as well. So there's no commas or anything going on with matrices. Are there any questions about that? So if you have a look at question two, turn over the page and have a look at question two. I've started with matrix multiplication. Question two, I think, is quite intuitive. If you add two matrices together, you should just simply add together the corresponding elements. So if you have a look at the first one, you have, what is it? 3, 4, 6, 20, 0, negative 1 in the first matrix, and then 0, 8, 10, 3, negative 4, 10. If you want to find the addition of those two matrices, add the corresponding elements together. Okay? And then likewise, when you get down to scalar multiplications, so you've got two times a matrix, multiply every element by two. Okay? So can I give you like two minutes to have a go at those? <laughs> 